Hello, how are you? Welcome to our post-Evolution 2018 review. She is the woman with an expressive face. I am the man with a fugly face. Let's talk some women's wrestling, <laughs> shall we, Jen? Also, we should awesome. note that the current time is 2.39 a.m. in Britain. Uh, we have both had, you know, a decent <laughs> amount of alcohol. So, you know, we'll make of this what we will. It's the base of me and Ross are drinking. So, first of all, let's start off with your, your takeaways from the night. What's your abiding memory from Evolution, the first ever all-women's pay-per-view in WWE history? Not enough saving with man. God, don't do... You did this all night. <laughs> we had a live stream, and every five minutes or so, Jen was like, oh, where's Stephanie? Oh, where's <laughs> Stephanie? Oh, where's Stephanie? I personally thought one of the highlights of the night was the fact that we didn't start with half an hour of that woman going, you can thank me for all of this. I created women no, and women's I, wrestling. No, because, oh, you guys just, like, say this all the time. Because she does it all the time. No, she doesn't. She like, does. Do, has she ever once come out and gone... I created women's She wrestling. says it in her sleep, Jennifer. <laughs> she came out at the Royal Rumble. Everybody thought, you know, we've got to put our rivalries to one side here. Let's make a lovely semicircle around Stephanie. <laughs> Join hands and do all this malarkey. Because she owns the company. Yeah, but, you know, it's not that, is it? It's just wrong, isn't it? No, I think it's wrong at all. And I would have actually, you know what? I was hoping for... The thirty-minute Stephanie speech. I was. <laughs> Why? I was open because I wanted You're to. You turn and heel towards everybody out there because everyone's relieved. I'm sure you are. Please say you are. Please say in the comments below that you're relieved. Fair enough. If you are, like, I get it. I get why people don't like her, but I expected. I like the build up to it. Like the, as much as she promoted it and was like, "This is our thing." I kind of thought I would see more of her. Like, I know she was in all the kind of pre-show v- VTs and stuff like that, but nah. I think we saw enough of her. I think it was one backstage, mm-hmm. like red carpet interview sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I think WWE cottoned on to the reaction that sort of the, the Royal Rumble reaction and the Evolution announcement got, and they thought, Stephanie, you've done enough, pal. Take a back seat and we'll take Should it from you. Should have listened to the whole of the universe. But that's your I only... I was telling them, like, no, no more Stephanie. Come closer to the mic, dear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but that's your one big takeaway from the first ever pay-per-view is the fact that <laughs> Stephanie wasn't really there. Nah, do you know what? It was great. It was great. It was good. It was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, it didn't have a huge pay-per-view feel to me. It looked like a house show. Smaller Tron, which I didn't mind personally because it reminded me of the no. old, reminded me of the old NXTs, sort of twenty fifteen no, totally. era NXT, which you know, which I think is a really smart move that they've done because if they are gonna, if this is going to be a longevity thing, and it's going to be an annual pay per view event, I think start it off smaller to build up to something greater. That's smart, like start it off small, but. Yeah, I it was it was good. It was very enjoyable, but it wasn't. It didn't have that massive pay per view feeling. That it was I more like a house show game. than what happened. I thought. Mm-hmm. I didn't mind. I did mind it at the start. The blacking of the crowd. I've said that completely wrong. I mean, the blacking of the crowd. The dark lights. The no lights. There's the darkness on the crowd. Yeah, it was dark. Well, it was that's weird. what we were saying as well. Like, um, because obviously, I think it's a smaller venue, so they don't maybe have the. LED lighting, I, maybe they don't have the logistics to, to light the crowd as much. Maybe that was a chosen thing to do, maybe because we did notice there was a lot of empty seats at the beginning when like when the show was just about to start because there was no pre show. Yeah. So I, I mean, there know. was, but no matches. Mm-mm. Aye, it was all maybe dark matches. Aye. But I don't know. So it's. Um, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Yeah, I thought it was a thoroughly enjoyable night of wrestling. I thought there was a lot. It was a bit like all in the fact that there was something for everybody apart from really comedy, which I guess is acceptable yeah. on like a, a night of celebration about women's wrestling. You don't want people laughing, do you? No, Not laughing like, ha ha, look at that. You know what I mean? No, I, I don't know. Like, I, like, maybe that's maybe something that I missed. Like, because I do enjoy, like, my whole thing is like, I enjoy the stories, the drama, and stuff like that. Maybe there was a lot of drama, there was a lot of stories. Maybe there was that wee comic relief moment that I missed. Bit of Santina Morella. Maybe. No, Maybe man, you're supposed to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was waiting for my James Ellsworth to cash in on the, on, the, on the Battle Royal. I don't know. You are turning heel and everybody watching this video, aren't you? <laughs> Me, I'm just drunk. <laughs> 
Shocking professionalism here from Jennifer Louise, who, of course, lost on the night quite handsomely. Was it like I was three ahead of you, <laughs> Pachiti was two ahead of you? I think I literally was three matches and then I'd lost. So, <laughs> on this Friday coming, we will be doing the Tony Storm simulator where Jen will be taking essentially a storm to the face. A storm to the whole body. A storm body. to the whole body. Uh, put on by myself, Pachiti, Sam, Jack, and probably Tubman as well. This sounds really weird. Yeah, it does sound really weird. But that's where we are. So let's start from the top of the card itself and let's give a detailed it. rundown from everything let's, that we saw. Let's do it. So we start the night with a performance from Nina. I forget her name all the time. Nina, Nina Strauss. Nina Strauss. Nina Strauss. And, and that was the awesome. lead singer of Hailstorm, is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, a, oh my goodness, I should know this. Who, by but the yeah. way, they sang a song called Sick Individual, which I would have used as my WCPW theme if oh, I was really? still King Ross, because I used to call myself Sick Guy. Well, there you go. <laughs> Pathetic as piss. That isn't it? Pathetic as piss. No, but that's cool. Uh, no, do you know what? That was super cool because and we even said that. Like, I love a live band feel. It was like the old video. WrestleMania gritty sort of here, mm. some well, rock and roll like, feel. It's like <laughs> NXT where they have amazing and they bring out amazing talent. And it's like underground, not underground talent, but talent that. I don't think mainstream like wrestling fans would necessarily know. Like so NXT when they brought out Code Orange, I don't expect anyone that's or everyone that's gonna be watching NXT to know who Code Orange are. I popped like what when I saw Code Orange because that was for me huge. Like I've seen Literally them, like whoa Like what I honestly was like texting people going, Code Orange are on NXT. Woo. This is massive. <laughs> that was massive. Um, so yeah, like seeing, I mean, um, like Nina Strauss has like done a good few things with WWE now. Um, she's got really good ties with like Triple H, Mick Foley, and yeah, yeah. I think Mick Foley fancies her a bit, you know, on Twitter and whatnot. I don't think he fancies her. I, I think, think he, he just does. appreciates her. Come no. on, as Mick <laughs> Foley's friend, I think <laughs> Mick Foley just appreciates. When's the last time you spoke to, spoke to Mick Foley? Uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Check that out. A couple what of weeks ago, because he's doing Comic Con. Uh, he's doing Comic Con in Edinburgh. Are you got to see him. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. I was kind of hinting, like, oh, can I come and see? <laughs> can I come? Because David Hasselhoff's there, and I really want to go and see. Do you him. like David? Oh dear me. Yeah. Let's forget about that. But I really enjoyed the opening performance because it's yeah. like. It was a throwback to when, you know, when I first started getting into wrestling. It, WrestleMania would start with like an opening gritty sort of performance from a, yep. a rock and roll band, which, you know, gets the blood going, doesn't it? It did. And do you know what? It was cool. It was super cool. It was really cool. Like, she was in the ring and then Hailstorm were playing. Yeah, it was cool. It was super cool. And then, thankfully, from my point of view, we started the night with the most predictable match of the night, I thought, which was mm. Trish Stratus and Lita. Trish, yeah, t- Easy for you. Eight see. cans in. Trish Stratus <laughs> and Lita against Mickey James and Alicia Fox. Yep. Alexa Bliss wasn't cleared in the end to wrestle. She got a bump in the face, potentially a broken no- nose or a concussion. I thought she would be involved more, though. Yeah. She did still got a good promo where she yeah, brought yeah. the crowd in and thought, oh, she might yep, be yep. turning heel. Welcome to Evolution. Then she was like, no. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Yep, yep. No, it was um, easily this was the most predictable match of the night. Because you need that nostalgia pop, and so it should start the night because of that. It was the good, it was the feel good, you know. Let's all have a good time. Victory at the start of the night, which I've now just punched your <laughs> microphone to oblivion there. Um, as for the match itself, I thought it was quite good. I thought, I you thought know, it was really good. Some spots were a bit rusty, but you know, you're gonna get that, aren't you, with ring rust and whatnot? Literally, maybe about two spots where we both went, oh, maybe that could have been better. But like out of that whole match. I thought they delivered. The the hot tags, they were really exciting. Yeah. No, I thought it was great. I mean, in terms of Mickey and Ale- Alicia, sorry, not Alexa. Alexa got a bit in there, mm-hmm. which sort of kept her a bit strong, I thought. But Mickey and Alex- Alicia were on a, hi- a hiding and nothing. I'm pissed as a fart, no, mate. I don't know about you. Do you know what? I can't even <laughs> see straight. But, like, uh, no, I think, like, for me, there was... I don't know. Like, I'm not a massive Alicia Fox fan. I genuinely thought she did really well. She botched the end of it. She did miss that free count. So So the referee had to stop counting. I'm not, like, exactly. I'm not, like, wanted. I mean, you got to say it when when it happens, don't you? And it happened badly there. that was very, very obvious. So, ruined that bit. 
But I think um, I think overall it was an amazing match, and I think that it just shows that Trish and Lita still have it, and that was what the whole point was: is to show that they still got the it. attitude here is still water better than the stars of today. But I, I thought all four women looked. Then in- now forever back the day. <laughs> I thought I, all four women looked amazing. Yep. Alexa got her bit in as well, but you know, as, as you said no, there, thought, not like, enough. I thought know. she could have a bit more. Lita obviously hit an amazing. Lita, by the way, with her uber thong, it went halfway up her back towards her <laughs> and, shoulders. And that was like net pie. <laughs> looked a bit painful, but she hit a, an amazing moonsault on two she people did. at once, which was quite good. Trish got her running bulldog thingy in. Totally, and also the stair down with Trish and Mickey, that was awesome. There was a little throwback as yep. well with a lick totally of the palm before the, the, the slap. It. Loved that. I thought they all hit the right notes that first opening match. Absolutely. You know, let's let's take a note from your good pal. Who, of course, forgot your name and called you woman with expressive face, Dave Meltzer. <laughs> Let's take a note from his playbook. Forget about stars. Let's do about fingers, shall we? <laughs> out of ten fingers, Jen. What are you giving that match? I'm going to give it eight fingers. Eight fingers out of ten. You heard it here first. Next up, we <laughs> had the first ever historic battle royale, which had, I think, 20 women in? 26. 26? Oh, God, I don't know. That might be no. a different... We'll just no, t- just, uh, what we've just done here... 26. It's just copied and pasted things off Wikipedia, <laughs> and there's a 26 here. No, I don't get what There's a 25 in the opening match as well. So, um, oh my God, <laughs> it's all going wrong here. So, there was no surprise appearances in this battle royal, no, which I was know. a bit of a shame. But you know, I thought it, it was, was still a bit of a shame. an enjoyable match. No, do you know what it was? It was super enjoyable. One thing I'll say is the fact that all the old timers seem to get eliminated very quickly. Medusa's which, was painful. Which well, is a shame. It is a shame. But the thing is, I think it was pivotal in telling a story of the evolution of women's wrestling. Like, we need to pay The homage. old ones get out. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, not as like cutthroat as that, but yeah, very much. Like, we need to pay homage to these women who have like completely trailblazed, but it's time to move on and I and I think that was cool. I think that was really cool. So yeah, um I loved it. I there was a lot of times where I was just kinda like, I don't really know where this is gonna go. Like yeah. I, I chopped and changed between people because I was like, no, 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 no. Which is amazing, which is what you want in a battle royal. Like you want to kind of think, oh that's who's winning it and then go, actually no and then have somebody else like so, yeah, I genuinely thought Oscar was going to win it because I thought she needed it. I still believe I think a lot it. of people agree with her. I think she still, like, does need it. I don't mean to brag, but, you know, your boy here, Tweddle, goes with the actual winner. Nia Jax is his prediction. How you, good am I? You were How good am I? Point, I thought Ember Moon, the way the match yeah. was building, I thought Ember Moon was a shoo in. Yeah. She was the bookie's favourite going into the match. Yeah. She had the most impressive showing. Towards to the fair, end of the match. See that, yeah, that like, showdown with Emma Moon and Nia Jax was actually pretty. It was impressive. very good. And it shows probably because that might be a rivalry to go to in the, the future. Wee cheeky, like, we all forgot about Selena Ve- Vega. Aye. Like, that like, got us, didn't it? Oh, like, legit Hoop, forgot all about her. Forgot all about her. And then she came back. So And she did that silly thing where she was like, yeah, I've won, despite the fact I've not checked anybody on the floor. But then the fact that she milked it so hard. And it was like, I don't know who was trying to get up if Naya... I don't know if it was a camera angle set up because then when Naya was there, that was the most perfect camera yes, angle. Yes, it was. It was perfect. Like a big bloody monster waiting for in the perfect. depths of something yeah. scary. <laughs> but I had a bit of everything this match. You obviously saw bits where the older ladies in the match had their moments. Medusa's... Yeah. I said this on the... It's got caught quite a bit of stream on Twitter. Yeah. This comment I made that Charlotte, uh, Medusa, if she was around today, would be the Charlotte Flair of like, this generation. Well, no, so you she must be heartbroken. You made, that, but you made that later on when she had... When it was the VT of like backstage and she got quite teary about Aye. stuff. And I was like, why are you crying? First of all, then second of all, I realised she's gutted, isn't she? Because she would have been a massive player in the women's division today. But the thing is, if it wasn't for her doing what she was doing back in the day, would there be Charlotte Flair's? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but I, had, as for the rest of the big hitters in the match, you know, we obviously had the. Uh, Tamina, like Tamina did well. 
amazing fight. We had uh, Mandy Rose and Sonny Deville. Potentially Ooh. a bit of friction there between them because. Uh, what do you mean potentially? That is friction. Well, no, because it's it might, technically it's one. It's everyone for themselves, isn't it? So she had an excuse. Yeah, but like that is now going to be something, which is cool. Like, w- in fact, do you know what? Because that's what we all kind of thought. Like, oh, the women's tag belts or yeah. division was going to get um, announced. That was the big absence from the night, wasn't it? Yeah, totally. Apart from Stephanie, of course. Oh, obviously, apart from, but that goes without saying. But that was a big thing, because then, if anything, we're making a, an appropriate tag team, Sonia and Mandy Rose would be, because they're kind of established. They're properly, aren't they? So They host a donut show on YouTube. How can they break up? They can't, can they? But I now won the match in the end, uh, a pick which I very much agree with because I predicted that myself. What about you? Naya is yeah, a winner. I lost it. Yeah. No, I'm I'm okay with it. Um, I did have a wee bit of a meltdown thinking because Naya, whenever Naya has a big win, which she's had a couple now, um, she breaks down and she's like shows a very vulnerable side to her, which works to an extent. But for me, I'm like, come on, man. You've had a few of these now. You need to man up and realise that actually it should for me, if like this win should have been not the breakdown, like, I'm so excited and I'm so happy. This should have been the win where it's like, do you know what? I've won all these hundred percent. I deserve it. It should have been a build on her character being strong. Being stronger than crying and stuff. And like not that I'm saying there's anything bad about crying and feeling emotional, but I've seen too much of it from Naya. I don't want her to be this gentle giant. I want her to just be this giant. To be fair. Not a monster, but a giant, like, cause she is so good at what she does. I don't mind it because it's very different from the norm. You always get the big lumbering emotionalist. Like, you know, Braun Strowman oh, no, no, in the no. beginning. I'm not, yeah, yeah, but I'm not. And saying, Naya is like the opposite of that, which I don't I'm mind at all. I'm not saying emotionless. I'm not saying that at all. But it should be more deserving. That is what I'm talking about. It's a big night last night, you know, or tonight. I know, but. A couple hours do you know ago. What? But that's exactly the, the stage that she should have to be. I am this deserving character. Don't break down. Don't be like, I'm so honoured. I'm so this. No. Own it and go, I'm Nia Jax and I deserve this on the first ever all women's pay-per-view. This is mine. Carry her on. That's what I think. Drop them mic. Aye. Finger clicking the last <laughs> stuff. But now she goes on to face Ronda Rousey, presumably. Well, after that VVT at the end. Aye, Woo! she was looking at Ronda when because obviously Ronda won a match. Mm-hmm. There was nobody gonna doubt that was there. That's not, you know, it's not a spoiler, is it? Everyone knew Nikki Nikki was gonna lose. But uh, Nia was there looking at Ronda going, Phew, I'm going to take it this time, pal. You're Do you reckon right. she will? When? Survivor Series, TLC? No, no, no. no. She won't. She'll have, a, uh, she'll have a shot. Survivor Series, probably, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe leading on to TLC, a rematch. I have no idea. But I don't think Nia is the person to dethrone Ronda. Who is saying. Jen? Let's give a scoop. I don't know. I don't know. I, if I'm honest, I don't know. But I think it would be somebody unexpected to make a really heelish... Bianca Belair. No, I don't think. I think it would be... Uh, I don't know. I think it would be somebody to make it really heelish. And like really like everyone would be outraged. I don't know. But accessible. It needs to be somebody who can make the title more accessible because Ronda's got it on a pedestal, which is kind of unattainable right now because it's Ronda Rousey, man. So it needs to be somebody who will win it and make it more accessible. Fair point, well made. If you're going to give this a score on the finger scale, the Battle Royal, what are you giving it? I'm going to give it a seven. Seven fingers. She got there in the end. Next up, we have the final of the May Young Classic 2018. We have Io Shirai against Tony Storm, which I thought was the match of the night, even if it was a bit short. It was short. It felt short. Um, I don't know if it, we were saying this on the stream. It, it felt short, like when it happened, but afterwards it felt especially short because of the funny, yeah, in comparison. the funny false finishes in the the six woman tag yeah. match. What were your thoughts on the, the May oh, Young okay, Classic May final? Classic. Do you know what? I was looking forward to this because I love... like Both both women are amazing. And I knew this was going to be the match of the night that had the best wrestling 
in it. Easy, 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 but not the best storyline. So uh, for me, I'm always more into storylines. I'm more into the drama of stuff. I knew this would be the one to watch for wrestling. I kind of thought, like I had in my head, I'd built up this whole big scenario where I was like, Tony Storm's not going to win because it's a whole NXT UK thing. I was wrong, clearly. And uh, Shock. Yeah, shock, shock. Jen being wrong. <laughs> shock. Shock, man. But yeah, no, like, honestly, I I loved this match. It was so entertaining. Both women brought it. Tony Storm, for me, like, Io Shiari, uh, Shiari is, like, she's amazing. But for me, Tony Storm is the the women's wrestler that I want to watch. She's got everything, like, in the ring, she does good promos and stuff, but in the ring, for me, she's the most enjoyable to watch because her facial expressions, the way she sells, like, she's so, so good. Um, So, yeah, no, I'm delighted that she won. And see, at the end, like, the moment that she had with, like, Triple H and Stephanie, you can tell that Triple H and Stephanie value her so much. You can tell from that moment that she's going to be... Yo. So they should, because she's the dog's bollocks, quite frankly. Um, I thought it was it was a weird one, because obviously it's a match built on respect. It's too... You don't get that much there in WWE. There was w- a lot of respect at the end. Like, they were yeah. hugging it out and stuff. It was cool. You don't get much of that in WWE these days. The fact, you know, I personally thought that Samoa Joe versus Styles could have been built on respect. Mm. Could have been built on two lads just trying to fight for the good fight and whatnot, but it wasn't but in no, the end. But no, but that was nice. I, like, I like that because, like, heel Samoa Joe, like... Yeah, obviously, but they made a mess of that, didn't they? I know. <laughs> but uh, it had Shirai being the sort of heel of the piece. She was the one that beat down Tony at the start. Tony hit a finisher out of nowhere. There was a near fall. Yeah. And Tony fought her way back. And then once it was quite a classic heel face dynamic, I thought. Yeah. And then and yeah. then uh, obviously Tony came out at the top of the end, which, you know, it's a good result. It was a good result. And you know what? Probably the right result. You were saying, like, she's billed as NXT UK brand. That's so why I picked it a win. That, But the thing is, that's why I picked her not to win. Because I thought she would be the inaugural... NXT UK Women's Champion. Now that she's won the Mae Young Classic, I don't think it's right to put the NXT UK title on her. I would put it on someone else. I would maybe put it on, like, Rhea Ripley. If the belt even exists anymore. It will. Because as we all know... It will, of course it will. They have to. It's a whole it's brand. It's so weird, isn't it, though? Rhea Ripley won a tournament, but they've just not forgot about it. They've just forgot about it, haven't I know, it's just kind of, like, ignored. But Rhea Ripley should win it, or... Isla Dawn, like, there's there's huge characters, there's huge, like, you know, people out there. I personally would have put put it on Tony Storm to carry that brand to the start, which is why I would have not given her this. But Maybe that means she's going to be in proper NXT rather than just but UK. But this is what I'm thinking, but that she's built on, on the, all the NXT UK things, so who knows? But mind you, John Cena's still being built for a crown jewel. So. Yeah. Until tomorrow, I think Bachita was right on the stream when he said John Cena will be pooked off that show tomorrow because he doesn't want to do it. Anyway, next up we have... I'm sorry, I need a star rating for me. Sorry, not a star rating, a fingers um, rating. How many fingers, nine. Jen? Nine. Nine? That was really good. Jesus. Time. Next up we have the weirdest match of the night by a long stretch. Um, I actually still boggles my mind. We have Sasha Banks, Bailey and Natalia against the Riot Squad. So many times in this match, the Riot Squad looked like they were going to win. But so many times they didn't. There were so many false finishes, I lost count. Yep. There might have been 20, there might have been 30, there might have been 40. I don't know. Probably 45, 50. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it just looked like... I know. It's like the Riot Squad are allergic to a victory these days because so many times they had, you know, two people knocked out on the floor and they had one person in the ring, they had them beat, then that one person would kick out. See and then... what they had with that, like, wee secret, like, tagging and, like... The then they had the bit at the end. That was beautiful. Yeah. And I was like, this is it. Because that is, like, Riot Squad, like, heel kind of victory. Perfect. This is what... And I genuinely feel... I feel as if, like, the loss tonight's damaging. It, well, I don't know how... Their main created main roster created date is damaging because they don't win matches, do they? But this is you can it, count like, on one hand how many matches they won. But for this one, like it's damaging. I don't think a loss between 
like Sasha, Bailey, and Natalia would have been as damaging because they're not a team. They are all very, very established wrestlers in their own right, singles wrestlers. I I don't know. I don't know if I think it was the right decision. I don't think it is because you look at the way the card was made up. This was the fourth match out of seven. Mm-hmm. It was given longer than the, uh, the May yeah. Young Classic final by about three, well, three minutes-ish. And they also, feel like way longer. they feel like well, yeah, it did feel like way longer. But you had the old USO scenario where they yeah. have beaten Daniel Bryan and AJ two weeks on SmackDown Live because they are a proper tag team, whereas AJ and Bryan aren't, which I like. Riot Squad are supposed to be a proper team, but they can't beat. You know, it looked like at one point Bailey was going to turn on Sasha yeah. or Sasha on Bailey. Well, that They're was weird. Then that weird hug in like the middle of it, which is like, was stupid, I'll protect that. you, and I was like, that. Why would you do that nothing. when someone's going to jump on you anyway? That did nothing. Silly. That did nothing. Silly. Nothing. Silly women. Um, <laughs> but it was a weird match, wasn't it? I don't know what else to say it apart from it was weird. weird. Um, I mean, there were some great spots in it. There yeah. was some good wrestling. It did show, if one thing I will say, it did show the kind of team bond between the right squad. But then that took away because he at the end, like, Sasha, Bailey, and Natalia all did that wee secret tag. Yeah. So it kind of like poo pooed on that. Poo pooed. Poo pooed on you that. You only had Dave Meltzer saying poo pooed. <laughs> but it did. It like <laughs> <laughs> it, like, it poo pooed on the Riot Squad's tactics. So I don't know. I I don't know. Like I I feel as if that was the wrong. Decision. I thought you know the position it got in the card. It's a throwaway match in the middle of the card that nobody's yeah. going to remember. Give the Riot Squad the win, for God's sake. They didn't do that. They made them like fools again because everything they tried time and time again failed. Yeah. The Riot Squad are dead in the water for me and Ruby yeah. Riot is the dog's bollocks and deserves a lot better, you know I think. What? And also, just for her ring gear alone, like the jigsaw ring gear, I popped for that. that Halloween, people. Christmas is better. No, it's not. Halloween... Christmas is better. I'm just doing the opposite of what you did there. <laughs> you, do, you do that. You do that like Christmas, like a C. Christmas. And I'll go, Halloween. Great content. <laughs> so please do not give this match over five fingers. You can't give it over five fingers, nah, surely. No, nah, I'm going to give it six. I'm going to give it six because, do you know what? Everybody put a shift in. They did do that. Everybody but it made no in. piss and sense, did it? Doesn't matter. Every, I'm going for it for individual performers, and they all put a shift in. So sick. I think this was the match that proved that what we saw tonight, apart from the NXT match, was a bloody house show. Oh, it was a house show match. Yeah. Oh, big time! Absolutely. So next up, we have the NXT Championship match. We have Shayna Baszler, the challenger against Kyrie Sane. She's a pirate. She thinks she's a pirate. Grow the piss up, Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and obviously, once again, I've got to be honest, during this match, especially, the drink hit me quite hard. So I can't quite remember what happened. Mm, I remember I a few in- instances where Shayna was being a proper dastardly, horrible heel. The thing in the corner where yeah, she had the yeah. K- oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Kyrie hooked up in the... No, exactly, with stuff, the yeah. arm. Like, that was awesome. And then dropped her. I wish that had gone longer than a five count. Like, that would have been so healy. Like... I don't know. Like I've only warmed to Shayna like recently. It was the last takeover match yep. she had where it looked like the penny had dropped. That you understand. But this is the thing. Like I always never liked her, and then now I know I really don't like her. But because she's a cracking heel, but I only dropped like like you say at that last takeover. She like it looked like the penny had dropped. Like she understood what it took to be a proper heel in WWE. Mm. Uh, um, I'm not a huge Kanye Sane fan as well. I'm sorry. I know that's super unpopular, but. I just don't get her gimmick. I don't, like, I do get her gimmick, but I don't think it has a huge space in NXT because it's played on so much. She's like a child. She thinks she's a pirate. But no, but then you say that and you say she's childlike, but Bailey was, like, super childlike and she was so... But I thought, like, different to Kyrie because Kyrie... Didn't doesn't connect with younger, I guess, and older audiences like Bailey does or did back in the like, day. Everyone likes hugging, but nobody really likes pirates. 
It's just, a, and especially we laughed as well during the the opening promo package to this match because Shayna tips over Kyrie's box of treasure. So why would she care about losing the NXT Championship? She's so offended about She's like, my treasure. Me treasure getting knocked over. It's just a, a horrible gimmick, I think personally, and I'm I kind of get on board it. with it. Yeah, I'm not but the match it. itself, you know, Shayna still showed flashes of being a good heel. Mm-hmm. Kyrie still the cross body was a bloody amazing spot. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, off the top rope uh, onto the ninth to the, the floor. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Had a bit of everything this match, really, including an appearance from the two other four horsewomen. The oh, third and the fourth yeah, horseman, yeah, yeah. who got involved in the finish of the match and ultimately helped open the door for yeah. Shane at the lock in, whatever move it, the Taz I don't mission. Know, is that maybe? <laughs> is that maybe there we nod to we are going to get the four horsewomen in NXT? I now? Personally, hope not because we don't know. I personally, and I, you know, I'm a very casual MMA fan. I don't know who the other two are. I only know Shayna Baszler through her work in NXT. Yeah. So I think it's too too soon to be doing that know, much. Like, I don't know. Like Maybe this is like their wee nod to get the other ones through the door. I don't think it would be a four horsewoman on four horsewoman. I don't think we'll see that for a long time. I think we will see it one day, but I don't think it'll be for a long time. Um, but I think they could maybe build up the four horsewoman MMA style in NXT for a while maybe put them against like NXT roster until they get pushed up to so they should for about six months at least yeah we don't know we don't know but that was the most involvement we've seen yeah I think that's the only time we've seen them hasn't it apart from promo practices yeah yeah uh, exactly promo practices ringside where they're like giving it all woo but no I I think this could maybe be the build up to introducing them into NXT and um, we'll maybe see some stuff with like the four horsewomen forming an NXT to then come up to the main roster to challenge, which could maybe be maybe that's the next evolution pay per view. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Like they build up the four MMA horsewomen in NXT to come up to evolution main roster. So how many fingers are you giving the NXT Championship match? I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six because I wasn't really. That Same invested. as the mixed, t- uh, the six. Yeah, I wasn't really. Tag, that, the I time. wasn't that invested in it. I was well, too you know, busy chatting. I thought it was a bit better than that. Anyway, that's what it pains about, aren't the gen? Like arseholes. Everybody's got one. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have what potentially could be the match of the night as well, from your opinion, I guess you know. Because mm. opinions, like arseholes, everybody's got one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Live Women's Champion against Charlotte Flair in a last woman standing match. The first ever, apparently. First ever. I feel sorry for Nikki Cross. First ever. And Asuka. What first you... ever? What are you talking about? First ever on a main roster, WWE. But for weeks, Jennifer, Tom Phillips on SmackDown Live would say the first ever. And then last week on SmackDown Live, he went... The first ever for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. go away, you've Tom Williams. You've been you've caught. You've been caught. You've done, you, <laughs> you, you dirty man, with your 69-69 password. <laughs> Do you get that reference? Yes. Survivor Series 2016, best opening promo ever. Chris Jericho <laughs> and Kevin Owens, you disgust me, Tom. No, anyway, no. for this match, bloody lovely, wasn't it? I loved this match. I did, I loved it. It was... For what I thought, like, I thought it was setting up a TLC match and I was so super excited about it because I was like, this is the longevity that this needed, which Becky needed, or needs, I think, because I don't know where she's going to go now. Because, obviously, Charlotte, she beat Charlotte and, and it was an amazing, like, a really fought tooth and nail and didn't know who was going to win. I had Charlotte in my bets, just purely to be Shock! (laughs) Chet had the wrong one again. No, 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 but just purely (laughs) to be against you, because Becky was my original choice. But I just decided to flip halfway through. And I think, oh, it was a weird one, because it's just like, at one point I really thought this could go to Charlotte. I think everybody did. I, I, and then I thought it would set up for a TLC because obviously they brought in all the chairs, all the tables, and then the ladders. I was like, this is it. It's going to set up for TLC. I think that's out the window now because how do you now, after Charlotte's lost the last one standing the match? Thing, but this is the thing. Where's Becky going to go now? 
a new that, challenger. That feud is over. It's done. As How do you I'm come back concerned. if you're Charlotte Flair from being counted out for 10? Even if she did quite, you know, she was close I to getting know. back up. And there's nobody else I can think. Because obviously, Nia's now got her, ch- like, her, her chat on Ronda. What is it? Nikki Bella? Like, it she's can't on be because it's on Raw. Like, who else? Asuka, is? the Iconics. Oh, don't know. But I, there was two moments in this match with people, which people have picked up on. First of all, was the 10 count, which should have been a 10 count, but wasn't. Mike stopped before Charlotte got back up. That was He got bad. a nine and a half and just stopped for some reason, even though he shouldn't. That was bad. Which is obviously going to count against Charlotte again because, you know, she's getting special treatment because she's Charlotte, which feeds into the entire narrative of why no, Charlotte's heel turn has happened, even oh, though it shouldn't have. That, do you think that was maybe a thing? Then? Oh, that's how fans will look at it. I don't know. I tell fans are looking at it now because you got put in the... Because I was legit just like, come on, get up, get up, get up. And then she was kind of half up, but she wasn't fully up. So I don't know if maybe that was a fault on her. I think it was a bit of both, wasn't it, the referee and her? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And then the second one was... I'm going to sneeze in a second, Jen, so brace yourself. Look up at the light. <laughs> Look what? Look up at the light and you won't sneeze. Is that what... You don't need to sneeze anymore, God, it worked. How, how does that work? Like? <laughs> I don't know, but it's mad. That's amazing. And the second one was Mike Kyoda kicking a chair towards one of the women to help them out. Thoughts? I completely missed it at the time. So did I. The beer must have been setting in. Oh, the, sorry, the sea drain must have been setting in. Yeah, yeah it's it's that. weird because the way the match was set up was obviously building towards another match at TLC because tables, ladders and chairs were involved. But now that Charlotte has lost again... How does she come back from that unless she gets the old Roman Reigns treatment of being just putting at the foot in the queue and know she lost a match? Which this I, don't, I thing, hope she like, doesn't. I, because... I know, like, because I hope that they've learned something from that with Roman. Yeah. And do you know what? You really did hit the nail on the head there because I didn't even think about it, but she is the new Roman Reigns. And it's WWE's fault because nobody else got the chance to go into that women's championship match at SummerSlam, but Charlotte no. did just because she's good, which is wrong. It's not Charlotte's fault she's that no, good. No, no, no. And she should not have been booed. Like, and that thing is, like, the amount of heat that she got and, like, boos, like, that was uncomfortable. Yeah. But then she owned it, and I was like, that confused me as well, because she was like, do you know what? Suck it in. And but I it was like, a... nah, 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 because you, you're not healed. It wasn't a proper double turn, though, was it? No. Because Betty was still being a diddler. But this is the thing, like, like it should have been a double turn. It like, should have been, Just to make yeah. it more... And then that would have maybe portrayed something for TLC I don't know I don't know but I just looked at the list here 28 minutes 40 seconds that match went for that's a long bloody time isn't it it's longer than I thought alright same fingers I'm gonna give it an 8 I enjoyed it I didn't enjoy I did it. enjoy it as well I enjoyed it but I I think I was more into it up until the finish because I genuinely was thinking this is TLC set up. But now they can't come back like because now no, we're going to go can. two Survivor Series you know and then Maybe back I'm to wrong. TLC. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll find a way. I don't know. They won't find a way. I don't know. It's WWE. And they will find a way, if anything. I was, yeah, maybe they will. Because my faith with re- was restored with the Dean Ambrose heel turn because they saw a story yeah. that presented themselves and they did it wonderfully well. But yeah, then you look at the likes of Samoa Joe against Styles and then Rusev Day, and you think they don't know how to do it, do they? Nah. I'd imagine now that somebody else is going to come into the... There'll be a battle royal or something on but SmackDown is, next who week. who is the next logical Page, person? The entire roster comes in here now! I feel embarrassed doing that in front of somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll have a battle royal on, or something on SmackDown nah. this week where somebody will oh, win and God. get a shot at the championship. No, I don't want that. Or maybe they'll forget about it now because it's going to be Smackdown against Raw for Survivor Series. Maybe well, it's just, just perfectly timed. Let's just do a rear replay and forget it. Ever. This is Pete Dunne. <laughs> Next up, we have the match of all of our dreams and desires. We have <laughs> our Lord and Saviour here at Cultaholic.com, Ronda Rousey, who won the war against the Wrestle Twats, which proves that we are better than the Wrestle Twats, against Nikki Bella. We don't have a time written down for the match because it's copied off Wikipedia straight after the event. But uh, Ronda won. Kel surprise, as the French would say. What do you reckon? I enjoyed it. I think I wanted more tomfoolery and more shenanigans. From Brie and her arseless arse. <laughs> You're just at Can we just discuss this? Whoa. Like, I've never noticed this, but whoa. 
<laughs> so Brie has these tights. That have Her like tights the, are amazing. Do you remember Brie Kane, is in like the most amazing show. Do you remember Kane singlet from like 1999 and it had like down the side like the wire straw strings it's thing. It's like stitched. Stitched, yeah. yeah. Stitched. So Bree's got that going down towards her arse crack. But where there should be an arse crack, there's just normal skin. She's either... Well, I think she's wearing like Spanx or something, but I don't think she she's is. She's a Barbie doll. Because... <laughs> no, she's not a Barbie doll. But like, honestly, <laughs> I, I honestly couldn't believe it. I was like, I don't understand because she's blatantly not wearing underwear unless she's wearing like a Spanx thong. I have no idea. A Spanx but thong. I don't know what Maybe is. she is, but I like honestly that I, I'm annoyed by how much of my time that took up trying to figure that. Trying out. to figure out where her ass was. I know, but no, like I genuinely like for me as well. It stressed me out that they were dressed as the Dudleys, like the whole. Well, the camouflage. Like, I was like, whoa, at first, but then now I'm all about it, and I want to buy the t-shirt. I'm so involved. You don't want to buy the t-shirt, do you? Bell Bell Illusion. I'm gonna buy it. I don't care. I'm doing it. So I, it. the match kicked off with Ronda very much being on top, which should have happened and mm-hmm. it did. And then all of a sudden, Nikki Bella had Ronda Rousey in headlocks, in leg locks. She uh, was out wrestling Ronda Rousey for a short spell, which me and Pachiti thought, you know, that shouldn't be happening. Because Nick, uh, sorry, Ronda Rousey was genuinely worried the way she was just kicking away at Nikki but Bella. But this is exactly the dangerous testament. Nikki Bella. No, but this is testament to how good Ronda is that she understands, like she understands the company politics. Oh yeah, I get that. But that's from a pure kayfabe standpoint, you've got Ronda Rousey, who's like this all domineering. I know she got knocked but her ass as well. But the thing UFC is, like, fighter. When you think about it. Think about it logically. She is so billed as this Lord and Saviour, right? Which she is. That's just something I said about her. No, 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 but it's so true. She (laughs) is, like, Rhonda is the Dugs, right? She's so good. But she needs to show weakness at some point, right? Fair enough, she's not going to lose to Nikki tonight. But she needs to show a weakness in some way, shape, or form. Probably shouldn't have been to Nikki Bella for an out wrestling thing. It should maybe have been to like an Italia or. She did it against Alexa Bliss. To be fair, and that made sense because Alexa Bliss is, you know, built as one of the best women in WWE. But Nikki Bella, especially, is Nikki Bella and a part time Nikki Bella, which doesn't rest easy with me. I know, and I get. The last time she wrestled was a Royal Rumble eight months ago. I know, but ten months ago, Jesus Christ! I know, I know, but. You need to show weakness to her, and you need to show it to like a big, you know, a big draw, which the Bellas are. Like, yeah, I get people, that. Yeah, people like love the Bellas, so yeah, you need to you need to show some weakness there. It's fantastic that they did not make her lose to Nikki, but they need to show that weakness in her because she's not showing it. She's not showing it against Steph. She's not showing it against. No, should Ale- she? Like, well, I know, but like. Do you know what I mean? They need to show a crack in it somewhere because at one point it will have to crack. <laughs> Just thought of Brie Bella when you said that. They need <laughs> to show it? a crack. Where is it? <laughs> Where is this crack? But I, it, yeah, it just went on a little bit too long. If there was a little bit of Nikki Bella being on top, that's fair enough, but it went just a bit too long for my liking. Fair just enough. In, just in a pure kayfabe. Fair enough. No, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But I think... Um, I think it was the right thing to do. Maybe Nikki Bella wasn't the right opponent to do it. Yeah, I get you. I'm trying to think of like the main things from that match. There was just the the, the horrible even... arm drag fall off the top rope, which mm-hmm. I don't understand how Nikki Bella's shoulder is still intact. Um, that was horrible to watch. You obviously had Brie getting involved from the yeah, outside, yeah, yeah. where she was cheering yes, 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 and the crowd were going yes, 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 which proves she couldn't. I know. Couldn't be a heel, even though be, she wanted yeah. to. They did the best, bless the Brellas in this rivalry, but it didn't quite work out in the end. Yeah, it was it was fine. Wasn't it? Do you know what? They did a few cracking promos in the run up to it as well. Yeah, there was so. a good back and forth. Bellas could have probably had a bit more than saying, "Ronda, your mum's ashamed of you." <laughs> but we'll let no, that I go. No, I don't know. I think like they held their own. Like seeing the one where they were just like, "Do you know what? She made it personal." Like I think Bree really did great in that promo. So I don't know. How many fingers are you giving this match? The entire world's breath is held, mm, waiting for the result. I'm going to give it's it... It's like making a murder I of this. I know, I'm like... <laughs> one. And the verdict is... The ver- verdict is, I'm going to give it a six. Six? Yeah. 
So the same as the previous two matches? Yeah. I think your scale's a bit wonky. <laughs> I think my eyesight's a bit wonky. We have had a bit of drink tonight here at Cultaholic. Um, closing thoughts after going through the card. Has anything come into your mind that didn't? Was in at the start? Absolutely. Yeah. There's loads that have come into my mind for it. I was distraught that there is no distraught. <laughs> like, not distraught. Like, distraught? I was, like, I was like, I'm distraught. I'm not distraught. But I'm gutted there was no announcement for women's tag team titles. Yeah. Absolutely gutted about that. Uh, because let's face it, right, I'll be honest, and this is an unpopular opinion, when Evolution was announced, all I wanted was a women's tag team division, and I was gutted when they announced an all-women's pay-per-view because I think it's a wee bit more backward than having a women's tag team division. I mean, let's just get it out there, shall we? This is still very much Evolution was just like... Oops, sorry about Crown Jewel. Yeah. Here's this for you. Exactly. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, I was gutted there was no tag team announcement. I was gutted there was no NXT UK announcement. Not that I went into this. That thinking, is such a weird situation, that. Yeah, but I not that I was thinking, like, this is definitely going to happen. But as soon as, like, the rumours started, I was like, I would like that. I would like that because I think it would give NXT. But UK we had a tournament where a champion was crowned, and they've just not. They've just I forgot about it. I just I I thought there would have been something more, but no, that didn't happen. Um, and I'm glad there was not more Stephanie. I'm glad there was no Linda. You're glad there was no more Stephanie. You said you were. I'm mean, glad I was gutted there was oh, not gutted. more. Oh, gutted. Always like glad. More. Gutted there was not more Stephanie. You gutted should be saying gutted. There was gutted. no Linda. Like what am I even playing at? <laughs> And yeah, no, I I enjoyed it. It was a nice, fun show to watch. I just don't know if I can see the longevity in it. I think there'll be one every year going forward from here because I think it's an easy show to book with every single championship on the line. Uh, the May Young on the line and a couple of, you know, woo But do you matches. think it would take away from women's matches being in other pay-per-views? Uh, Especially no. if we do like all championship matches on this. Because I think with Becky and Charlotte, you've ended a feud there, haven't you? Which continues the story. But think about it. Like when it comes down to things like Survivor Series, which is like the next big pay per view, the one before, like you know, what I mean, like I don't know. I don't want it to take away from women's role on main pay per views. Yeah. Uh. And I, 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 so there's a danger of that, I think. I don't think. I just think it slots nicely with Becky and Charlotte, especially into a storyline, doesn't it? But they've done that storyline well. Who's to say it would? But I think, especially now with Crown Jewel, I think the yeah, fact that well, WWE didn't different. mention the ten-year deal in the latest statement, I think this, they're going to do Crown Jewel because it was too late to pull out realistically from a logistical standpoint, and now Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia is not going to be a thing. So because of that, will Evolution still be a mm. thing? Because they don't really have to do that because now they're not doing the whole men's yeah. pay-per-view. So do the women have to have the... I don't know, it's a, a very snide thing to say, but that's no, why they're doing you, it, isn't it? Yeah. How many stars are you giving the night overall in Jennifer? Overall, I had a really nice night. I'm going to give it a solid, a solid seven. Solid seven. A solid seven. Len Goodman. <laughs> that's a... That's a Strictly Come Dancing reference. That was. I I'd, I'd pretty much agree with you. I thought it was a very, it was pretty, it was a house show. Let's be honest with you. Apart from Shayna and Kyrie, which, you know, some house shows have title changes, don't they? Mm-hmm. Um, it was a house show, but there was still a lot that happened. It was better than Super Showdown. It was mm-hmm. better than the Greatest Royal Rumble, I thought. Mm, oh, better than Greatest Royal Rumble. And maybe we had something to do with the runtime. It was only two and a half hours, wasn't it? Wait. Yeah. Excluding the pre-show, which had no matches on, <laughs> and the fact say, there was no was lady, red carpet <laughs> and the fact there was no lady balls helped me along a great deal because I was dreading the fact there might be a ho- opening half hour. Oh, look at me! I'm why you're all here. Stop it. <laughs> like, legit, stop it's it. true though, isn't it? It's not true. It, she did it before. She could have done it again. So that's okay, it for our discussion you. here for Evolution 2018. She has been the woman. With the expressive face, I have been the man with the fugly face. Where can you find Stop you on Twitter? Stop saying that. Stop saying I should, that. I know 11 people said they would do me. I know, right? So see in the live things, everyone said they fancied draws. I had two people here at 11. So the new hair looked like Clark Kent. Post-retirement. Where can they Absolutely. find you on Twitter? 
Um, at underscore Jen Louise underscore. Underscore Jen Louise underscore. You can find me <laughs> at Ross and Rasslin. Follow us at Cultaholic on Twitter and Facebook. We are Cultaholic on the Instagram. Flippin' <laughs> pledge to our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. Let us know what you think about Evolution 2018 in the comments below. It's now... Time for bed! 3.29am in the morning here in the United Kingdom. We've had a bit to drink. It's time to go to bed. Not together. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>